What's up, Reefers? Welcome back to another episode of Zoa Tank, Tank Boys. Boys. In this episode, guys, we are here at Aquashella. Let's go. I am super excited. We've been waiting all year for this event since the last one. The last one we had a blast. But guys, before we start, don't forget, easiest way to support this channel, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what kind of corals you think we're gonna find. What do you think? Hector, what are you looking for? Me? I'm looking for some type of softies. I don't really know what I'm looking for yet, but I need to fill some gaps up in my tank. And again, comment, let us know if you came to the show, what corals you got. This video, I'm only gonna show you the crazy hottest corals, the stuff that I've never seen. There's things that just blow my mind. Um, Out of the ordinary. Yeah. So let's 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 go. Super cool about this show, guys, is not only is it salt water, but we also have a lot of fresh water stuff from display tanks to stuff for sale. Guys, this is just the entrance. Let's keep going. Time to do some damage. Look at made all it to our aqua. From salt water, fresh water. We got top shelf of products over there. So I am super excited. Like I said, guys, it's going to be a bit overwhelming to go over everybody, but just to give you some peace, we got TSA. We have every single body. So let's do it. We're going to go to some of the vendors to see what type of pool they have. Last time we were here, they even had an owl. They had a baby alligator. It was crazy. So, all right, we got our handy dandy glasses. Let's see what we got. First, the first purchase at Aquashella, Strictly Fish, based out of Miami. I picked up a Piper Jubilee frag, has about three or four polyps. Cannot wait to show you, but let's go. The mistake everybody makes is they think, oh, it's SPS, I need to put it up high. Yeah, it's not. It needs to be lower down. If you if you go to our farm, all of them are on the bottom of the tank. And these played out? Or yep. Okay. So these will played out like this. The depth spiral, this one here, it's really cool. So that one, it's actually, it, it plates, but it does a spiral. So we're here at the PV Reefs booth. Look at all these rock flowers. Crazy colors. Guys, I got a brand new tank, a huge, huge tank. <laughs> 
Look at this. Okay, look yeah. in perspective. Look at my head. <laughs> that is so freaking awesome. How you doing, man? What's going on? I recognize you from somewhere. YouTube, maybe? Maybe. Instagram? Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, we're Instagram. Good. Instagram. Both here, Instagram. So we'll take points? Oh, yeah, yeah. Harley, next to each That's so cool. How how big is this? Uh, so this is a 40 ounce micro reef. It's a 20 out, 28 ounce display and a 12 ounce sump. So it's a full working system. You've got your top to bottom and then uh, back to front for your sump flow. Two little lids to keep in evaporation. And it actually really works uh, quite well for a true working small system. Another size that's a little bit bigger. So this is our brand new small in one. It's a all in one aquarium. The main differences between these two is that this one here is an all-in-one aquarium and it has the filtration built into the display. I think I'll add a tang to one so of these. Back here, we've got no? Our... No tang? Maybe the tang police will get me. All right. So as you guys saw, we already bought two corals, a beautiful beach bum Montipora and some zoanthids. There's so much more that I'm looking for from dry goods. Guys, it's so, so packed in here. Hector, I know you're looking for some stuff too. What are you looking for? Honestly, to tell you the truth, I'm indecisive. I mean, you know how picky I get when, with corals, but I, we did see that Raja Rampage chalice. That looks really guys, good. Guys, tons of beautiful Raja Rampage. go back for that. It seems like chalices are, are making a comeback. Um, I saw a whole bunch of chalices, some that I've never seen in beautiful frags. So I guess Hector might pick up something like that, um, but you, you never know here. And guys, there's a special guest that we're gonna introduce you guys to that we can't wait to show you. Let's go. Hey dude, I just bought my new fish. Can't wait to put him in my tank. So we've been here, Aqua Shella buying crazy coral, guys. We are crazy, about to go crazy, home. guys. We're gonna go home, put them all in the tank, guys. It's insane. I don't even know. Hector, I don't know hey. if they're ready. And we told you about a special guest. Guess who we got here? Bye. Stay living. What's going on, guys? But first, we gotta get these corals in the tank. Let's go. All right, Reefer, so we just got home from Aqua Shella. Not only did I get crazy, crazy corals, but we got a special guest with us, Dream State Living. <laughs> No, I get it. Oh, <laughs> young, young, it, what what was she trying to do? What was she trying to do, Manny? This crazy, crazy, crazy. Hector's behind the camera. Say what's up, bro. Hola. If you guys watched the beginning of the video, I got a whole bunch of crazy coral. So we're going to put it in this tank. I'm just pretty much here for moral support right now. Going to help the Zotang boys put some corals in their tank. If you're not following or subscribed to Dream State Living's uh, YouTube channel or Instagram, do it because we just did a crazy, crazy reef update video on the Red Sea 350. We checked out the entire tank. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen it, but we did a deep dive in the tank and we got some information that the Zotain boys have never shared before on their channel. Top secret guys, top secret. So tons of crazy coral. I can't wait to show you guys enough talking. Let's just jump right into it. Here we have some of the frags. My name's Hector, hola. <laughs> Hector, say what's up, he's behind the camera. Hola, hola, leave a comment below. No. One coral that I've always wanted, and I just never got around to finding the perfect specimen, whether it was the cost or overall what it looked like, was a scoli. So I finally picked up a war paint scoli. Um, do you have a war paint scoli? I don't have a scoli at all. I've been wanting a scoli since I got my tank, and every time I'm about to buy it, I just, it's not right. My tank parameters aren't at 100%. So I just keep holding off and I'm kind of a little jealous right now that he picked this one up. <laughs> and I haven't seen any of these corals that they got yet, so I'm also excited about that. <laughs> Full on coral haul. So I actually picked this one up from Coral Bargain Warehouse. I believe they're based out of Clearwater, Florida. And guys, when I walked up there, um, I knew this was the one. So let's look at the tank real quick. This has to go on the sand bed. Now you can glue it to your, to your rock However, as you guys can see, your boy got no room for anything. Literally, stopped. Nothing. So, I'm thinking of a corner. I don't think over here is gonna be good. Um, where do you think I should put it? 
Well, considering you got no other sand bed space, I mean, we might. How big is it? Oh, that's a, that's a pretty nice size there. I think it's a two to three incher. <laughs> Definitely that's a. a one. Yeah, I think. What are these two spots? Probably over here. I, I'm, I'm thinking there just because I don't have a diamond goby that sits in that section. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna glue the scoli to an actual plate. I think that's a good idea. What do you think, Hector? Yeah, I mean, definitely, especially just in case the goby does go, it's gonna run into the plate, the sand, instead of actually inside of the scoli. Now guys, something that you guys may notice about my aquarium is I don't have corals on my sand bed. The reason I don't have corals on my sand bed is because corals get irritated especially LPS, they have that really nice, beautiful tissue. And anytime sand gets on top of it or they get flipped on their face, um, that could actually kill the coral. And your boy's not trying to have this thing die. So yeah. um, let's grab a tile, we're gonna glue it, and then we're gonna put this puppy right here. I can attest to that. I got a bunch of coral on my sand bed and they're constantly getting flipped over and I constantly gotta flip them back over, but I got no other space anywhere else. So, I mean, I can't even say that anymore though, because look at this <laughs> thing. Like I have no excuse for no room because this is way more jam packed than mine. And what size is your tank? I have a 65. Gallon. 65. Red, nice. Yeah, Red Sea also. Uh, mine's the, one of the older models, the 250, I think it's 250C with the uh, all-in-one enclosed top. And then I custom built the top, uh, the, I custom built the top hood and gutted it and put in two Radeon XR30 Pros into wow. the hood. So yeah, we got. Yeah, guys, if you get a chance, definitely check out our channel so you can kind of see your custom work. That's awesome. Yeah, as you guys know, if you guys have been with the channel for a while, um, I actually have also a retro Red C. It's a 130, and it, it had the clothes on top as well. We just made it into a rimless model. Very similar to hers. That's pretty cool. I love all the ones. I mean, like, it's just so easy. I know some so you get, like, more out of it and all that stuff, and definitely when you get bigger tanks, but just all the ones are so nice. I don't know. I, no, I agree. I just, the, the simplicity of it just being in the back chamber is awesome. And as you guys know, I, I recently just purchased a house not too long ago, so I am looking, I'm trying to upgrade. I know I've been saying that for quite a few months now, but I definitely want to get a tank with a sump. That's my next goal. All right, reefers, look at this. Look at this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to glue it to a little plate, and I'm going to put it in the corner because I don't want anybody messing with this. Okay, right, so the way that I like to glue things is I grab my putty, I make a nice little ball. With this, because it is a scoli, I'm gonna use a little bit more than I usually would. Put it onto a little ball, a little bit of glue, like that. Putty, glue, and all I'm doing is I'm creating a base to protect it from getting try this or anything on it. Let's activate that. Yes, sir. Come on, wait. There we go. There we go. Look how pretty that looks. And now she goes. Each one is looking nice, boy. Look at that, yeah. guys. The way that you glued it too on that rock kind of had an angle tilt to a little bit for the glass. And look at the color contrast. So nice. Okay, so, Mr. A can. Where should we put A can? Is he going to open the only? Ah, I don't know. I don't know. My bae, maybe not. What's up with your British accent all of a sudden? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, when I glue corals, I become an Englishman. Not you sound Australian. For all you Australians out there, I'm sorry. Please comment below if, he's, if he sounds accurate. I don't know, you think that Echinata's gonna get in the flight? The Echinata? Yeah. Yeah. I, I can see that it's getting enough flight now. You, okay, you can? The yeah. Echinata, that's under the digi. I'm looking at the Echinata, I can see that it's getting enough flight. Okay. You are worried about these corals that are getting enough light when they live in caves. All right, reefers, so it's been a super long day from running through Aquashella, buying corals, hanging out with all the awesome reefers, putting all the crazy corals in here. Guys, I'm soaking wet. We appreciate Bianca. Don't forget to check out Dream State Living. Leave a comment, give her a follow, like, 
she helped us out today with all the crazy stuff going on guys you know we can't end this video without giving you guys a shout out so we're gonna put that comment right here right here don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment we appreciate you coming to check out the aquariums till next time zoa tank boys out, out.